Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Numbers chapter 21. This is the Amplified Version. Arad conquered. When the Canaanite, the king of Arad, who lived in the Negev, the south country, heard that Israel was coming by the way of Atharim, the route traveled by the spies sent out by Moses, he fought against Israel and took some of them captive. So Israel made a vow to the Lord and said, If you will indeed hand over these people to me, then I will utterly destroy their cities. The Lord heard the voice of Israel and handed over the Canaanites. Then they utterly destroyed them and their cities. So the name of the place was called Hormah, dedicate to destruction. Then they set out from Mount Hor by the way of the branch of the Red Sea, called the Gulf of Agaba, to go around the land of Edom. And the people became impatient because of the challenges of the journey. So the people spoke against God and against Moses. Why have you brought us out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no bread, nor is there any water, and we loathe this miserable food. The bronze serpent. Then the Lord sent fiery burning serpents among the people, and they bit the people, and many Israelites died. So the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against you. Pray to the Lord so that he will remove the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people. Then the Lord said to Moses, Make a fiery serpent of bronze and set it on a pole, and everyone who is bidden will live when he looks at it. So Moses made a serpent of bronze and put it on the pole, and it happened that if a serpent had bidden any man when he looked to the bronze serpent, he lived. Now the sons of Israel moved out and camped at Obah. They journeyed on from Obah and camped at Libarim, in the wilderness facing Moab, toward the sunrise. From there they set out and camped in the wadi, Zered. From there they journeyed on and camped on the other side of the river Arnon, which is in the wilderness that extends from the boundary of the Amorites. For the river Arnon is the boundary of Moab, between Moab and the Am Amorites. That is why it is said in the book of the wars of the Lord, Waheb in Sufa, and the Wadis of the Arnon River, and the slope of the Wadis that stretches toward the side of Ar and leads to the border of Moab. From there, the Israelites went on to Beer. That is the well where the Lord said to Moses, Gather the people together, and we'll, I will give them water. Then Israel sang this song, Spring up, O well, sing to it. The well which the leaders dug, which the nobles of the people hollowed out with the scepter and with their staffs. And from the wilderness, Israel journeyed to Matinah, and from Matinah to Nahalil, and from Nahalil to Bamoth, and from Bamoth, Bamoth to the valley that is in the field of Moab, to the top of Pisgah, which looks down on the wasteland. Two victories. Then Israel sent messengers to Sihon, king of the Amorites, saying, let me pass through your land. We will not turn away from the road into field or vineyard. We will not drink the water of the wells. We will go by the king's highway until we have crossed your border. But Sihon would not allow Israel to pass through his border. Instead, Sihon gathered all his people together and went out against Israel into the wilderness and came to Jahaz and he fought against Israel. Then Israel struck the king of the Amorites with the edge of the sword, and took possession of his land from the Arnon to the Jabbok, as far as the Ammonites, for the boundary of the Ammonites was strong. Israel took all these cities and settled in all the cities of the Amorites, in Heshbon, in all its towns. For Heshbon was the city of Sihon, king of the Amorites, who had fought against the former king of Moab, and had taken all his land out of his hand as far as the Arnon. That is why those who use Proverbs say, Come to Heshbon, let the city of Sihon be built and established, for a fire has gone out of Heshbon, a flame for the city of Sihon. It devoured Ar of Moab, and the lords of the heights of the Arnon. Woe! Judgment is coming to you, Moab. You are destroyed, 
O people of the god Chemosh, Moab has given his sons as fugitives, that is, survivors of battle, and his daughters into captivity. To Sihon, king of the Amorites, we have shot them down with arrows. Heshbon is destroyed as far as the Dibon, and we have laid them waste as far as Nopha, which reaches to Medeba. Thus, Israel settled in the land of the Amorites. Now Moses sent men to spy out Jazer, and they overthrew its villages and dispossessed the Amorites who were there. Then they turned and went up by the way of Bashan, and Og, the king of Bashan, went out against them, he and all his people, to battle at Edrai. But the Lord said to Moses, Do not fear him, for I have handed over him and all his people and his land to you, and you shall do to him just as you did to Sihon, king of the Amorites, who lived at Heshbon. So the sons of Israel killed Og and his sons and all his people, until there were, was no survivor left to him, and they took possession of his land. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.